In this video, I'll break down how to create this really cool, like, glowing jewelry effect in Final Cut Pro 10. In order to create this effect, you're going to have to have the Magnetic Mask, which is a new tool that's available in Final Cut Pro 11. It's basically just rotoscoping for Final Cut. Now, before we continue on this video, if you're looking for some really cool plugins and presets, go ahead and check out my website, WinkinsMedia.com. But without further ado, let's go ahead and show you how to create this really insane effect. So here's the clip that will be creating this really cool like glowing jewelry effect. You know what you want to do is you want to open up the effects panel and you want to find the category masks and keying. So as you can see, masks and keying. Now you, want, now you want to apply the magnetic mask onto the clip and there you go. Now again, this tool is only available in Final Cut Pro 11 or above. It is basically rotoscoping for Final Cut and it is a really cool effect. So let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit so we can see uh, his mouth. We're going to go ahead and just basically just cut out his mouth. So what you want to do is you want to just select on his mask on, a, on his mouth right here. Now we can go to the minus tool and we want it to go ahead and as you see now we just basically have his mouth. Now we can go through with like the brush tool and we can decrease the brush a little bit just basically like refine the selection so something like that should should look pretty good. It's all very much a personal preference, but I think that looks pretty good. Now let's zoom out to back to fit. We're going to go ahead and track, so click on analyze, and we'll just basically track his mouth, and as you can see, it just tracked his mouth. Now we can go ahead and just click on done, and there you go. As you can see, now you have just his mask, uh, just his mouth um, being rotoscoped out. Let's go ahead and just select this clip and hold down the option key to go ahead and duplicate this clip. Now we're going to go ahead and select on the bottom clip and we can go ahead and just simply delete the magnetic mask. So now we just have the background without any mask. So we can go ahead and right click on here and we can just hit click on ha um, hide magnetic mask editor. So as you can see we can go ahead and disable the, the top clip as you see here is just the background clip and then if we disable the bottom clip as you can see now you just have his mouth isolated so what we're going to do is we're going to select on this bottom clip right here head over here to the color board we're going to add a new color board and we're going to take the saturation and we're just going to decrease the saturation so as you can see there you go now just the grill now just his mouth is being selected so you see now now you want to add some really cool effects to make his teeth um, glow so what you want to do is you want to head over here to the effects panel now I'm going to use a plugin from my ultimate bundle so we head over to the ultimate bundle I'm gonna go ahead and apply the glint effect onto this right here so we can go ahead as you see already you have a really cool effect so you can basically you just want to add any kind of glow effect uh, you want Final Cut should have some native glow effects but again I'm using the glint plugin which is for sale on my website which is included in the ultimate bundle so we go ahead and zoom in to like 150% just so we can kind of see what's going on now what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to the tint color we're gonna select Select on this color right here. We're going to select on this eyedropper and we'll go ahead and just select on the teeth. And there we go. Let's go ahead and just disable this window. Now we can go through the tint and now we can like enable, we can increase the tint. We can go ahead and increase the exposure. Now we can go through and increase like the glint size. We can increase like the glint streak. We can increase the glint softness. So as you can see, a little bit of glow. We can increase like, the glow amount. So as you can see, now his teeth are just glowing. And now you can go through and adjust. You can increase the intensity to as much as you want. So let's say something like that should look pretty good. Now we can go ahead and just minus out so you can see what the effect looks like. So as you can see, now his teeth are just glowing and you create this really cool effect and you can go through and mess with these settings as much as you want. But just like that, you have this really cool like glow effect. Now to add this really cool like flicker effect, you would either like keyframe the opacity or you could apply this other really cool effect, the strobe effect. So if you go ahead and apply the strobe filter, which is also included in the ultimate bundle, apply it to this top clip right here. Let's go ahead and disable this window. Now what you want to do is you want to take the opacity, turn the opacity down, and let's increase the speed to something like 615. And now you have this really cool flicker effect. So his teeth are glowing, but they're also flickering. So if we play this right here, you have this really cool effect. So you see, there we go. It's just simply flickering. 
and now you have this really really cool effect you see his teeth are glowing but they're also creating this really cool um, flicker effect and that's just a really cool effect anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you enjoy these types of videos and you want to watch more of them hit that subscribe button and again if you're looking for some really cool plugins go ahead and check out my website winkinsmedia.com the link is down in the description below see you in the next one peace